welcome, welcome to Knowing Me, Knowing You with Alan Partridge. It's not the talk of the town, it's the chat of the town. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to climb the mountain of conversation. Yes, I'm going to get my grappling hook and scale the north face of Chatmandu. <laughs> and, as usual, I'm going to cause quite a stir. I'm going to put the chat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> But suffice to say, tonight's show is an exciting stew of exotic vegetables, or guests, in a tomato-based... <laughs> a tomato-based source of entertainments. Yes, you've guessed it, I'm serving up chatatouille. <laughs> but, uh, first, an important announcement. Uh, you may remember that my dance troupe, the Alan Partridge Playmates, were wearing Alan Partridge masks. These masks, thank you very much, are official merchandise available in all good novelty shops and <laughs> welcome break service stations in the southeast. <laughs> However, last week these fun items were abused. Take a look at these pictures from a security camera. <laughs> Nat West, Sycamore Road, Corby, on Tuesday last, when three masked gunmen wearing my rubber face burst in. <laughs> then they ran off with £15,000 in a copper coloured sports hold all. I wish to dissociate myself from this act. My face was designed as a leisure accessory. <laughs> when people rob, maim, pimp, ram raid, smuggle, stalk or peep with my face, they drag it through the mud. And I don't like it. And if necessary, I'll take action, either through the courts or by other means, believe me. <laughs> that said, um, if you do want to buy one, they really are great fun. And uh, they're available in the shops right now and at service stations. I'm told they're particularly popular with students. That's lovely. So, uh, buy one today and give your neighbours a fright. Sneak up on them. But, but don't stalk them or, or mug them. Just try, frighten them in a friendly way. <laughs> well, it's time now to meet and greet my resident house band, Glen Ponder and Bangkok! <laughs> Glenn, I'm uh, pleased you've seen sense and decided to uh, cancel your court action. Very impressive. Um, and it means that <laughs> I've, uh, I've no fear now of, of saying, knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, Glenn Ponder, aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And knowing me, Alan Partridge, knowing you, Bangkok, aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Glenn, um, <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a bit of bother this week. I've got a confession to make. I actually stabbed a senior academic to death in my kitchen. Really? Who was that? Professor Plum. I was playing Cluedo. <laughs> but, um, but seriously, Glenn, um, I, I believe you've just had a new kitchen fitted, is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. What, what prompted that? Well, uh, my boyfriend's a bit of a cordon bleu. And, uh, <laughs> it was his idea, really. His idea. I, I didn't know. Take, uh, take me down, please. Yeah, well, you... <laughs> He needed a bit more space, you know, and... Uh, so, what the hell? Let, let, let's splash out, right, you know? Conversation's finished now. <laughs> you, you can come round for a meal sometime. No, thanks. Um, <laughs> fine, thank you. Don't try to be very welcome. No, that's all right. So, can we get this quicker? Maybe. <laughs> so, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll jump... I'll jump the uh, last couple of feet. If that, that's right. <clears throat> uh, Glen Ponder and Bangkok! 